guys, and I'm back, and for the second uh, character uh, for this week, I bring you none other than a character, female character that I love and respect, and yeah, that's her right there, Twilight Suzuka from Outlaw Star. Twilight Suzuka, yeah, Twilight Suzuka is just one badass ultra class assassin. Uh, from the Outlaw Star universe. Uh, she she doesn't carry like when you think of assassins, sometimes you think of you know more of people with long range rifles and things like that, or getting close and then kill somebody with a hidden blade or something like that, quote unquote Assassin's Creed. Okay. But Suzuka uses her weapon of choice is a boken or a wooden sword, uh, which, which through special, secret, semi-mystical sword training, she can with this wooden sword she's able to use it and slice metal like a cleaver. Uh, you know, for example, like when she she was chasing Jean. She she sliced clear through a, a, a delivery truck uh, with no problem. Uh, she can smash concrete. This is a wooden sword we're talking about, and it's just really crazy. Uh, but she first appeared, I believe, in episode six of Outlaw Star, and they really didn't go deep into her origin, and they never really have. Um, but what I, what we do know about her is that she, during that episode, she was, she was trying to kill Gene Starwin's friend, Fred Lowe. You all remember all Fred Lowe. Fred Lowe was like the kind of semi girly like uh, character that Gene would always go to like, uh, for parts and stuff. Uh, a rival weapon seller wanted Fred dead. So, uh, she tried to kill him, and she she took out Fred's bodyguards with no problem. Just knocked him out, knocked both of them out, just using a a, a wooden sword. Now it it now because of that, the sword does come in handy because it can't be detected by metal detectors and things like that. So she gets an A plus on that, you know, uh, most definitely on that. Um. So she tries to kill Fred, remember, and Jean gets involved, and Jean fights her, <laughs> and Jean does the best he can to fight her. Uh, it was kind of funny because Jean's first, he's just running away from her, and she's she's all like, you know, you finally going to fight me or not? And she, she felt that, you know, Jean was Fred's bodyguard, but he wasn't. He wasn't his body. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and... Jean outsmarts her uh, by forcing her to. Uh, what did he, what did he do again? He forced Jean. He forced uh, Suzuka to concede to coming after him before killing Fred, as part of her pride. You know, she had her honor and everything like that. Uh, so she said, that's that's fair. So basically she said, I'll come after you first. And then when I kill you, I'll, then I'm coming after Fred. But over time, things change. Uh, we, then we saw her when uh, she appeared to save Melfina from a K-Pirate. And we started to see that she, she has a history with the K-Pirates. Um, and it's personal. We don't know why. Probably something from her past that they never talked about. And uh, she was she uh, she she was able to defeat this member of the K Pirates that went out, and we saw her use one of her techniques. Uh, I forgot what what it was. I think she she did it, and the guy said, "What what technique was that?" And he, she said, standard heating number one, I believe. So meaning she has other versions of that, but he, she beat him real fast. 
but we did get to see that she's mainly after a member of the Unten Seven, a uh, member known as Hatori Hatoriga, uh, who killed her family. So pretty much that's where it comes from. Um, she knew more about the K Pirates than the other members of the of the Outlaw Star, so it was a little different. Uh, Suzuka were really. She could really be considered best as a lone wolf. She relies very little on outside help, but to accomplish her goal. But she did become a valued member of Jean's team over the time, and she would really, she would frequently sometimes go and do business for herself. You know, like when Jean and them would they would dock on another planet, she would go off and do her own thing. <laughs> you know, for example. Uh, it's kind of funny though because like she would go off like there was an episode where Jean and Jim went after this bounty that was supposed to be this legendary outlaw that they were going after but it didn't turn out to be him she brought him in instead and it was kind of funny she she outsmarted them uh so it was kind of funny but personality wise Suzuka is very quiet she's a very quiet character you know doesn't talk too much she lets her actions do more of her talking. Um, it's kind of funny when her and Aisha Clan Clan get together because Aisha's more outspoken and full of spirit, and she's always coming up with nicknames for everybody. So she was calling uh, Suzuka Suzu, and she's like, "My name's not Suzu. Don't call me that." And that that was really funny to me. Uh, but when they're together, they make a pretty good team, though. Those two ladies make a really good team. Uh, but Throughout the series, we've never seen Suzuka really lose a battle. But throughout the series, and if you can really consider, she's only lost three battles uh, in the series. Um, three known battles that I can remember. One is in the past to um, to the person that killed her, her family. One to Jean. And one to uh, Shijimi. Uh, one of the other unten seven members, uh, but possibly she said due to the meal Asia Asia uh, cooked for her and her lack of skills <laughs> was really, you know, uh, lacking because of what Asia cooked for them that day. That, but uh, those are the only three fights that I know she lost. Um, but you know, she, she's just a very cool character. You know, anybody with a uh, a weapon that looks so standard, so easy to break, but it's so powerful the way they use it is cool with me. And we got a lot of characters like that that use like the most un I guess you say un like weapons that you wouldn't really think of, like would really be do so much damage, but they do. She's one of them. Uh, and many body, everybody's top 10 badass anime girl lists, I always see Suzuka in that list. No matter where she's at, she's always in that list. And if it was me doing a list like that, I would put her in there too. She'd be probably in my top, she'd be in my top 10 as well. Um, during the seat, like during the later, like the past episodes, we started to, when she finally got to fight Hitoriga. When she did beat him, she did beat him. Um, Hitoria asked her, like, is she, do she, does she have feelings for Jean? You know, there was kind of like a, a scene of like, we started to see like maybe Suzuka has some feelings for Jean over, uh, but she said, I'll tell you after I kill you. And when she killed Hitoria, she, she never revealed that she, she really had strong feelings for her. So it was never, that was really left unresolved but she's always said like she's always going with Jean and them because she say you people are very interesting she likes being around that and uh, she, she she didn't go after in the series ended she she didn't go after Fred anymore she said her contract was really done she she had no need to go after uh, Fred anymore but 
she does like being around Gene and the, and the crew and the rest of the crew a lot. Um, but I would say she does have some kind of feelings for Gene, but she just just is very quiet and she's a female warrior at heart that I guess you can say doesn't really know how to show her feelings too much. And that's that's pretty much you know Suzuka to a T, but in a fight, you know. Don't think Suzuka will hold back on you. She she gives it all she has when she's fighting her uh, her opponents, and I I just you know you just can't get over the fact that she's just using a wooden sword, you know, a, a wooden sword that usually you train in when you when in in like styles of kendo and things like that. You know, you know you train with those in the beginning, and then you move up to regular weapons and stuff, but she uses this all the time, and she's an assassin, and you're like, you're like, man, like, seriously? I mean, when she first, the moment she came on the scene in Outlaw Star, I knew she was special. I knew from the get-go she was special, and I knew, like, there was, when, like I said, when she was chasing Jean through this, this heavy traffic area, you know, this truck is coming at her, and she cut through this truck like a hot knife through butter. And you're like, man, like, like, what can't she do, like, with this wooden blade? And it just came off really good. But I love Suzuka. She's just a really good character, and she gets right to the point. She's very direct, and I love that about her. And uh, I would love to see them... Like, maybe do a prequel to more of her backstory, which would be really cool, and things like that. Or just show some more adventures of Jean and them together. You know, that'd be cool to me. But, once again, this is another edition of uh, Characters, Why I Like Them. Uh, what do you guys think of Suzuka, Twilight Suzuka? Do you like her name? Do you think she's cool? Do you think she, she lives up to the reputation of being that ultra-class assassin? What do you think of her just using a bowken or a wooden sword as her weapon of choice? And you guys just tell me what you think of her. But once again, this is uh, Mom Vernon Kid saying peace, one love. Stay tuned, guys. Take care.